One of the most important things we do in the laboratory on a daily basis is to make solutions. It's not unusual to produce a dozen different reagents in the course of a single day. Sometimes these are stock solutions that are going to be stored for a long period of time. Sometimes they're um, dilutions that we're going to be using immediately in a particular experiment. This is the first of three separate videos um, looking at the process of making 1% agarose gels. Here we see the parts of the standard operating procedure, the uh, different equipment that's going to be used, uh, locations, um, and, uh, and the variety of reagent chemicals that we're going to use. And also you can see a list of the steps that are necessary. Here we see the uh, technician putting together a, a graduated cylinder. There is a, a indicating ring which helps, uh, helps us find the meniscus and makes it easy to do the uh, measurement. Uh, the 18 mega ohm water source that we use is uh, one that produces uh, highly purified water and it has two positions on the switch, a, uh, a constant flow and also a pulse flow. So we run it on a constant system until we get nearly to the uh, top and then we're going to use the uh, pulse button to bring the water up exactly. Once we have our 500 milliliters of water, we want to transfer that to a, a, a specific reagent bottle. We're going to be storing this long term, so we're going to use a screw cap bottle. As you can see, we've uh, added a magnetic stir bar uh, to, the, to the bottle and now we're just pouring or decanting the liquid um, into the bottle. Next we're going to weigh out the tris base. So first we place our uh, reagent bottle with a stir bar on the magnetic stir and uh, uh, get the uh, uh, liquid moving. There's a powder funnel that's put in place. The weighing boat is added to the balance and it's uh, teared. We have to wait for the balance to stabilize on 0.00, .00 before we can take our measurements. Now we start transferring the solid uh, tris base with the uh, spatula. You want to take care here not to spill it onto the balance because anything that gets spilled on the surface has to be cleaned up. Uh, when you get close to the final endpoint, uh, it's, it's useful sometimes to tap small amounts of it onto the weigh boat and discard anything that's not used. There you can see the uh, uh, balance is nice and stable exactly on the amount called for in the SOP. We fold the weigh boat in half. We never reuse these. They're disposable and add the contents then through the powder funnel. We're going to shake off any excess, discard the weigh boat in the biohazard trash. We're going to then wash the funnel of course, we recycle those. We repeat this process then for EDTA and boric acid to bring the entire solution up. And finally, we label and cap. Many of the reagents we make in the laboratory are going to be made immediately and used immediately. If we're going to be storing a solution for a longer period of time, we would remove the Teflon stir bar um, and we might actually uh, also cover the um, bottle with parafilm or foil.